Don't be fooled by their frightening appearances. Both the Siberian Husky and the German Shepherd are amiable, intelligent dogs that make excellent family companions. In this Doggy Footprints video, let us learn more about the similarities and differences between the German Shepherd and the Husky breeds. I hope that all you dog owners and future dog owners enjoy this video, and learn something new while you're at it. And before we begin, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, so that you will get notified every time we upload new videos. Make sure to check out our channel. We will upload new content weekly about dogs. Let's begin. History. The German Shepherd and Husky are both working breeds, but they come from two very different backgrounds. The Siberian Husky is one of the oldest canine breeds, descended from the Chukchi, a Siberian clan. They were employed for transportation as sled dogs and even slept with the tribe's youngsters to keep them warm. They were shipped to Alaska in 1908 and employed as sled dogs in gold rush races. By comparison, the German Shepherd is a fairly young breed, originating in 1899. Captain Max von Stefanitz, retired from the German cavalry, started breeding German Shepherd dogs to herd sheep. As Germany became more industrialized, von Stefanitz saw the need for herding dogs was diminishing so he convinced the German government to use the breed for police work and military service. During World War I, the breed served as a Red Cross dog. After the war, an American soldier took a puppy back to Los Angeles where the dog later became Rin Tin Tin, starring in over 26 Hollywood films which made the breed famous. Temperament both the German Shepherd and the Husky are excellent family dogs since they get along well with children and other animals. However, this does not imply that one of these breeds is suitable for every household. As he gets strongly linked with his owners, the German Shepherd, for example, demands constant training, early socialization, and lots of family time. He is also sensitive and extremely clever, and intellect comes with a strong desire to learn. He will thrive if he is assigned doggy chores around the house, such as assisting with washing or bringing in the newspaper or groceries. Appearance Huskies come in a variety of colors from black to white and can have colored markings on their body in red to copper shades. A German Shepherd's coloring and coat can vary greatly. They generally have a medium-length double coat but some dogs have a longer double coat. Their coats come in a variety of colors like black and tan, sable, gray or black and white. German Shepherds are noble-looking dogs with a long, dark muzzle, intelligent eyes and large ears that are pointed and stand up on their head. When they are puppies, German Shepherds can have floppy ears which makes them seem less serious and more playful. Huskies also have erect ears and bushy fur to protect them from the cold. They're famous for their intense eyes, which can be brown, blue, party-colored or even a combination of those colors. A Husky's ears are medium-sized and triangular in shape and sit high on their head like a German Shepherd. A Husky's nose can be black or pink which is called a snow nose. Personality The intellect and independence of Siberian Huskies are well recognized. They are incredibly loving and make excellent family pets, yet they are not needy. Despite their incredible capacity to learn, Huskies are famously tough to train and may be mischievous, so they are best suited to confident, experienced dog owners. Because they are pack dogs, they require an owner who can be the pack leader. German Shepherds are also exceptionally clever, robust, and energetic dogs that make excellent pets. Because German Shepherds are easy to train and like working, they are frequently used to assist persons with impairments, as police dogs, or to rescue avalanche victims. They are wary of unfamiliar people, they make good watchdogs. Huskies, on the other hand, do not make good watchdogs. With their wolf-like appearance, they may appear frightening, yet the breed is really sociable. They're also not huge barkers. Instead, they like to howl, which may irritate some people. Huskies can also be mischievous if they are bored or not given enough exercise. They love to dig and can bring havoc to gardens and even some parts of the home, if left unsupervised. They also have a reputation for being escape artists. They'll wander away from home given a chance. German Shepherds need a lot of physical exercise and mental stimulation. If they're left alone for long periods of time, are bored or frustrated, they will act out, chew things and bark. German Shepherds also need appropriate chew toys. They like to chew and will easily ruin your favorite pair of shoes with their strong jaws. Are German Shepherds bigger than Huskies? Yes, a German Shepherd is generally the larger of the two dogs. A Husky is classed as a medium-sized working dog whilst a German Shepherd is classed as a large herding dog, belonging to the pastoral dog breed group. Husky males are approximately 53 to 60 centimeters tall, whilst females are between 50 to 56 centimeters tall. 
German Shepherd males are approximately 61 to 67 centimeters tall and females are 55 to 61 centimeters tall. Husky males weigh 20 to 27 kilograms and females weigh 16 to 22 kilogram. By contrast, both male and female German Shepherds weigh approximately 34 to 44 kilogram. Do Huskies shed more than German Shepherds? No, both dogs are known shedders, however their shedding habits differ significantly. Both species have double coats and a lot of fur to keep them warm in cold weather. A husky sheds a lot in the spring and fall, although they shed less in cooler regions. Huskies are a generally tidy breed that enjoys grooming itself, they don't emit a lot of odor and don't require a lot of maintenance, just a lot of brushing. Brush them at least once a week during the year and daily when they are shedding. German Shepherds shed so much that they have earned the moniker, German Shedder. The breed sheds all year, so if you own one, be prepared to vacuum frequently and have your clothes covered in fur. German Shepherds lose so much hair twice a year that it actually blows off them. The breed, like the Husky, is fairly clean, has minimal odor, and requires frequent brushing all year. Family Friendly Huskies make excellent family pets and get along well with youngsters. They are also suitable for multi-dog families. Huskies may live in a multi-pet home if they are reared with other animals as puppies. Huskies have a strong hunting drive for smaller creatures like squirrels, rabbits, and cats owing to their wild beginnings, but if nurtured with small animals, they will be okay with pets of all sizes. German Shepherds are also terrific family dogs, but they require a lot of socialization with small children, especially when they are pups. They are excellent with children and can be both kind and protective, with some comparing the breed to a mix between a nanny and a police officer. However, because they are enormous dogs, they have the ability to overpower or knock down tiny children. German Shepherds can live with other animals, however it is better to introduce them to a multi-pet family when they are puppies. Exercise Needs The Husky and the German Shepherd are both energetic breeds that require a lot of exercise and mental stimulation to keep healthy and happy. The Husky is a little more active than the German Shepherd. When it comes to exercising, he may demand more time and upkeep. Nonetheless, each of these breeds will require at least an hour or two of daily activity. They also require free time to run and play in a securely enclosed yard or dog park. Dog Trainability Fortunately, both the German Shepherd and the Husky are intelligent animals that appreciate family life and are ready to please. The Husky, on the other hand, is a free thinker. He likes to only accept directions that he views as beneficial, therefore when it comes to training, he expects patience. The German Shepherd, on the other hand, appreciates learning new things and thrives when given tasks to do. Because of their intellect and work ethic, both the Husky and the German Shepherd are prone to boredom. Dogs who are bored might become frustrated and destructive. Experts always encourage positive reinforcement training, meaning treats and lots of praise instead of scolding and punishments. Dog health Huskies have a life expectancy of 12 to 15 years while a German Shepherd's life expectancy is 10 to 14 years. Both breeds are healthy but they can suffer from some health conditions. Huskies can have eye problems like cataracts, corneal dystrophy and progressive retinal atrophy. If you're a fan of Huskies and German Shepherds, you're bound to love another herding type dog breed called Caucasian Shepherds. Dog Grooming Keeping your German Shepherd or Husky groomed will also help maintain his overall health. Luckily, both the German Shepherd and the Husky are naturally clean dogs. Brush them with a suitable brush once or twice a week and give them an occasional bath. You will also want to keep their nails trimmed and their ears and teeth clean to keep infection at bay. So, what are your thoughts on the similarities and differences between the Husky and German Shepherd breeds? Let us know in the comments, and please share your experience with other dog owners who are interested. And if you found his video helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel, so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.